Hello and welcome back. In the last session, we looked at how we can clean up your repositories. We looked at how we can clean untracked files and how to prune unused branches. In today's session, we are going to look at some of the most common Git issues. As a developer, you are going to encounter Git problems, whether it's a detached head state, an accidental reset hyphen hyphen hard, or a push or a pull error. Now these issues can be confusing and stressful. The good news is with a little knowledge, you can troubleshoot and fix almost any problem. In this session, we will cover the most common Git issues and give you the tools to solve them confidently. Now before we dive into the details, if you found this content helpful, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow and allows me to keep making more videos just like this one. Let's get started with this. The first problem that we are going to talk about is the detached head state. The detached head state can look scary, but it's a core Git concept that just means your head isn't pointing to a branch name. It's pointing directly to a commit. This happens when you check out a specific commit or a tag. If you make new commits in this state, they won't be part of any branch and you might lose them when you switch branches. For example, so let's say, I have checked out to this particular commit. So let's say git checkout and then the commit ID. And now if you look at the git branch, you can see it says head detached and then the commit ID. So this is basically what we call it as your detached head state. So how do you fix this? One, stop committing. Do not make any new commits while you're in this state or they will be orphaned. So how do you fix this is you will need to create a new branch from this. So to save your work, simply create a new branch from your current position. So we can say git branch or let's say git checkout hyphen B and let's say a uh, new work or whatever you want to call it. And now I should be out of my detached head state. All right. Now that you are in your new branch, you can switch back to your original branch and merge the new one. In. So always remember if you are in a detached head state, do not commit your changes because if you commit them, you will lose the work. You won't, uh, the changes won't get committed. You will need to switch. You will need to be in a um, regular branch to commit your changes. So that's basically how you can fix your detached head state. Now let's talk about the second most common problem that you might encounter recovering from an accidental git reset hyphen hyphen hard command. Now this command is very powerful and destructive. If not used carefully, it not only moves your branch pointer, but can also accidentally delete saved changes. If you run this command by mistake, it can feel like your work is gone forever. However, not all is lost. Git has a safety net called the reflog. The reflog command is a local history of every place your head has been. So let's say, for example, we will edit this. Let's say this is one change. I have a typo. I'm going to ignore that. And let's add this. And we will commit this. So git commit changes in index file. Let's say we will make one more change. This is a change in touch.html. Let me add this and let me commit this. So let's say changes in touch uh, file. And let's say likewise we'll make one more change. So this is a change in contact page. And let's say we will add this and we will commit this so let's say changes in contact file so now we have three changes right so here these are the three changes we have now let's say you realize that uh, this change is not correct you want something else so let's say we will run this git reset hyphen hyphen heart head at three and now you can see it says head is now at this particular commit, All right? So now running this git log hyphen hyphen one line, you will see that it is pointing to this particular commit. 
and whatever the commits we have done is gone and now you realize like oh this is a mistake you wanted to only reset this particular change but now you have reset this as well so this is where we can make use of the git ref log command so when you run this command you will see a list of commits you have been on right so this is all the list of your commits including you have accidentally reset now each of this entry has a unique head associated with it so this is your identifier so to fix this find the lost commit so look for the commit hash of your last good state before the accidental reset so in our case here this is the good state before we did the reset and then you can restore this particular uh, commit so for this we can use this git reset hyphen hyphen hard now you can either use the commit id or you can use this identifier and you should get your changes back so this will restore your repository to that specific header including all the changes you thought were lost so now if i run this git log hyphen hyphen one line i should be able to see my changes and also i should be able to see the changes in my file as well so the changes in my files as well and you get you you get back your commit as well so this is how you can get back your work that you have accidentally deleted by using the git reset command now let's talk about the third most common problem that you might encounter troubleshooting with push and pull errors you often encounter error when pushing or pulling your changes the most common is a non fast forward error which means your local branch is behind the remote and git simply can't fast forward the history so let's say for example uh, let's switch to our main branch and let's say we are making some changes in this so let's say uh, this is a change from the local repo and we will add this oh instead of let's let's not add this yet so let's say we will restore this now let's say someone from your team already updated this main uh, branch while you were working in the local repository so let's say we will take this index.html file and let's say we will edit this and let's say this change was done by another developer and pushed to main branch let me commit this directly to the main branch and done so now let's say you will continue making your changes so git status is here and let's say you did not realize that there is a change in the uh, main branch in your remote repository so let's add this we will commit this and let's say fixing login issues and let's say we will try pushing this so git push origin main branch so here you can see git is rejecting my changes and it's not able to push my changes to the remote repository so how do you fix this the so first thing that you need to do is pull the changes the error message itself tells you to do a git pull first you need to get the latest changes from the remote before you can push your own so always make a practice of uh, before you push the changes always update your local branches so that if there are any new changes you will have them on your local repository so let's run this git pull origin main and if there are any merge conflicts you will need to fix those conflicts as well now if you are running this command for the first time you might get this uh, you will need to specify the um, how you want to do the reconciliation so you want to do a rebase uh, true or false or you want to do a fast forward only so in our case i want to do a rebase we will run this command so after you're done running this command we will do the git pull origin once again and you can see here it is telling here there is a conflict this is where the conflict is happening so now we will need to fix the conflict so you can open up your file that is having the conflict which in our case is this file and you will need to remove the references that you don't want so in our case let's say i don't want this so i will remove this particular line likewise i'll remove this here 
and then I will remove this last line as well. So here we are fixing the conflict. So I will save this, we will add this, we will commit this and let's say fixing merge conflicts. Now after you're done committing your changes, you will need to run this command to basically solve the conflict, to basically mark it as resolved. So we'll take this git rebase hyphen f and continue. We will run that and done. Now we will go ahead and uh, push this and done. So now if we check, we should have both the changes from the other developer as well as my changes as well. So this is something very common. So always keep in mind before you start working on your changes, always update your local repository with the remote uh, repository so that you have the latest changes and then continue the work. If not, then you will need to, you will have this conflict issues, which you will need to fix manually. Now for more complex issues, using git pull hyphen hyphen rebase is often a better option. It reapplies your local commits on top of the remote changes, creating a cleaner linear history. Now, let's talk about the last most common problem that you might encounter dealing with credentials issues. If you have recently changed your GitHub password or you are getting authentication failed errors, Git is likely using old credentials. The solution would be to use Git Credential Manager. So this is the easiest and most secure solution. It handles credential storage for you. But if you want to update credentials manually, if you're on Mac OS, then you can use this keychain access. Now here you can search for GitHub and delete your outdated password entry. The next time you perform a Git action, you will, you will be prompted to enter your new password. If you're on Windows, you can go to the credential manager in the control panel and delete the Git entry for GitHub. A more permanent solution is to use SSH keys for authentication. I've already covered this in a previous session and it's highly recommended for a hassle-free workflow. With these solutions, you can confidently solve some of the most frustrating Git problems and get back to coding quickly. And that brings us to the end of this session. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more content and let me know in the comments section if you have any questions. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next session.